What's going on, guys? I'm Commander Restless Corpse. Welcome back to Elite Dangerous. We are exploring the cloud. That's just what I'm going to call it. The cloud. And I am one jump away from the next big star in the cloud. But I saw this guy, and it looked really cool on the system map. And uh, to be honest, it looks really cool up close. But what's weird is the swirls that are right up there by my, I guess it would be my right wing. on. Uh, but looking at it as the left. They seem out of focus, which is kind of weird. Um, but it's a cool looking planet. It's got a whole bunch of different colors in it. And if we if we look up here a little bit, you can see all that. It's really cool. I decided to kind of show off the dark side as well. Uh, mostly just because I, was, I, I saw a really close moon and I was going to land on the moon. But unfortunately that moon is on the dark side. So looking up into the sky you would just see like a black circle. But anyway, like I said, we're one jump away, so let's get to that. It uh, It's a B main star with an O and some other stuff in it. So hopefully something awesome is going to be in there too. Now I'm sure you guys have probably noticed, or maybe not if you don't watch them, I did not put a CQC video up today, and that's because I'm trying something a little new with it, and it takes some practice. I'm working on flying a little bit more uh, aggressively, like more agile and you know staying mobile and whatnot and uh what that's what that's requiring is that i use flight assist off to off a little bit more so i'm practicing with it oh we got oh that's it there's nothing well and, and they're already been discovered too so i'm just gonna get this first one uh which i've already done and we're gonna plot a new course but uh, i did a couple matches and they did not go so well so this morning if you ran into me in CQC and I was doing terrible, like running into asteroids and walls and stuff. That's why. I'm trying to learn how to fly with mostly flight assist off. Um, uh, toward I, I played like four or five matches and the, the last couple matches I was doing kind of a hybrid, you know, just flight assist offing when I needed to like swing around in a 180 or something. That does a little better. There's a lot more boosting. Uh, I was getting blown up a lot because I also was putting all of my pips into engines and weapons. So it wasn't my best showing, guys. Oh, we got a B. Two Bs here. Let's see if there's anything closer. Or, you know what? I need to go down into the cloud. So why don't we hit this guy instead let's see what you have got for me sir uh, but the CQC stuff will continue guys I just need to get a little bit more practice in before I make a fool of myself it's only got a B on it uh, but we need to go if we go down that way there's almost nothing else so we need to stay up on this plane so what I'm gonna do instead is in fact go to this guy oh map why are you doing this to me there we go. Alright, you're the guy. Two Bs. It's not that far away. Should be maybe five jumps. Show me. One, two, three, four, five, six jumps. Good enough. Let's do it. So there's something else I wanted to address. And this is something that has actually bothered me for a really long time about my channel. Um, if you... I know that a lot of you guys pretty much only watch the elite stuff and that's totally cool like I've said before can't be mad at you if you if you found me for elite stuff and and that's what you want to watch it's totally cool with me you know I appreciate any any of my videos that you watch but if you were to look around through my channel there's a lot of series like games that I played that I didn't it looks like I didn't finish like uh, I didn't upload or I stopped uploading like halfway through the game or something and Sometimes it's like a technical problem, uh, like with Outlast and Lords of the Fallen a couple years ago. Uh, I completely messed up the second half of both of those games because I, I finished them both in the same day with my recording software and there just wasn't any sound. So I, I scrapped it, but I decided to leave the videos up because, you know, somebody might get a kick out of what, the parts that I did play. Uh, I hate these things, man. Those almost 
like weird me out more than neutron stars because I can actually see them flying at me. Um, but a lot of them, a lot of the series that are unfinished on the channel are because nobody's watching. Like if nobody's watching a specific series, I'm not going to spend my time and effort to... Uh, oh, and it's spinning like super fast. Well, not super fast, but it's spinning decently. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not going to like spend a lot of time and effort, you know, editing and rendering and uploading that stuff if nobody wants to see it. You know what I mean? And in that vein, the CQC stuff isn't getting nearly as many views as this series, but the CQC stuff is still fun for me to do. And it's easy. I just jump on, I play, you know, a match, record a match, and then I'm done for the night. Um, and that will continue. I don't have time tonight to record this and CQC and another Luffy episode, which I need to do. So I'm just going to be getting this out of the way and the Luffy episode out of the way. After tom or today, I guess, for you guys, uh, after I get home from work today, I have like four days off. And I'm just going to knock out a whole bunch of recording for you guys. I might even actually do some streaming, I was thinking. And I uh, remember, if you follow me on Twitter, which is slash or it's at restless corpse one word if you follow me on twitter i always give a heads up when i'm gonna stream and uh i'm not sure if i'm gonna get to streaming but i've got four days off i'm pretty sure i can figure something out but there are raid days within those four days so uh my final fantasy 14 raid stuff does take priority over streaming but i just kind of wanted to clear the air just in case you guys have been looking around the channel and you know, seeing stuff that isn't finished, and it looks like I abandoned it. And uh, I guess it is kind of kind of means it did, but a majority of that stuff is recorded. And it's just sitting on my hard drive. So, I mean, like, take uh, the Bloodborne Old Hunters DLC. Super fun. I had so much fun recording that. But it just wasn't getting the views. So, I stopped around, like, episode 6. I still have all that stuff recorded on my hard drive, and at some point... I might possibly go ahead and edit it and throw it up there, but it, I just personally don't think that it was, I guess, as entertaining as maybe this stuff is, and that's probably why it wasn't getting any views, whatever. But I just wanted to bring that up, and for, for anyone that's, because I don't believe in deleting my videos or setting them to private. Uh, if I've made a video and I've uploaded it, it's fair game for people to watch. And if you go back to a lot of my earlier videos, you're going to see, like, shittier quality, shittier quality mics. Uh, <laughs> me being, like, quiet during the, the gameplays. Like, I didn't really come into being, um, being like, confident on the, the mic until kind of recently, I guess. Um, oh, my God. See? Uh, whoa. Whatever. Uh, and that largely comes from the fact that I moved to a new place where uh, I didn't have, you know, super loud roommates. And I'm naturally kind of like a shy guy. So if I think that my roommates can hear me while I'm doing these, it kind of weirds me out a little bit. But uh, I just really haven't had to, or haven't seemed to have that problem where I'm living now, which I've lived here, I don't know, about six months, seven months, something like that. But anyway, uh, I won't talk anymore about it. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up and just in case you kind of, you know, are looking for other things that I've done that you want to watch. Uh, and if if you find a series that you actually are enjoying on my channel and it's not finished, let me know if I still have the footage. I'll throw that stuff up there. If not, uh, sorry, I, I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, uh, I forgot to see how many jumps we are from the next system. Or from the, the target system. So as soon as we get into the system, I'll check. And if it's still a couple jumps and there's nothing fun in the system, then uh, we'll do a little bit of snippy snip. So let's see what we've got going on here in Eod Gork's BAA G6. 52 objects. There's got to be something awesome here. Well, some gas giants. That one looks kind of cool. Uh, and then we've got this, which may or may not be a high metal content planet. We've got this that we can land on, and it is relatively close to that. I don't know if we'd be able to see that. 
Uh, so let's get this scanned up and go check this guy out and see how close it is to the star. If it's close to the star, then it might be worth landing on to take a screenshot. It's been a while. But I don't know. I think that the star will look too small in the background and it won't really be worth it, you know? So when we get up alongside it, I'm going to stop and turn around and see. Let's see what we've got here. I think this might be close enough. And we'll just kind of swing around like this and see if we can see that star. If that star is big enough, we might... Oh, look at that. It might kind of be... It's too bad there aren't any other planets around it. I don't know. We're just going to keep trucking, guys. I think that other planet, though, is close enough that I can hit it from here as well. Let's see. Come on, buddy. Oh, it's not. I thought they were connected, but they're not. In fact... Well, it is close enough for me to scan from here, though. I think that was a high metal. I didn't... When it's a planet that you can land on and you're close enough, it gives you... Instead of giving you a readout, yeah, it's a high metal content. And it's not terraformable. Uh, when it's a planet you can land... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. When it's a planet you can land on, instead of giving you... I'll show you what it is down there in the lower left, the Anarchy High Metal Content World. It'll give you a distance thing, and, it, and you have to go to the, the system map to check it. But I do want to hit these gas giants. This one isn't particularly all that awesome looking, but this one kind of is. So we'll see when we get to it. And if it's close enough to that, no, it's nowhere near close enough to that. I was going to say, it'd be really cool to have two gas giants right close to each other for a screenshot. I don't think that I've ever run into that situation. Oh, we can hit it from right here. Let's go around this planet, though. I don't want to get caught in its gravity, which I just did. But not a whole lot. Anyway, I'm going to scan these guys up. Uh, we've got one jump. So after I scan these, these gas giants, we'll jump into the next system. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're finally jumping into this system. Now, it doesn't look like, just from the galaxy map, the amount of stars on it, it doesn't look like it's going to be anything interesting. But we've been pleasantly surprised before. So sometimes that'll happen. So let's see what we've got going on here. All right. Let's swing around. Let's get this, uh, let's get this star started scanning. And see what we've got. 17 new objects, which isn't too bad. It might just be a whole bunch of moons, though. Oh, no. Oh, look at this system. Look at these gas giants. These gas giants are awesome looking. Oh, they're so far away, though. I just really like those dark colors. I'm going to have to skip on those, but they are... They are cool looking. I wonder why these T's didn't show up on the galaxy map. Maybe it's just because... Without scanning the system, you don't know they're there, maybe? Because now they show up. I think that might be it. I think that I've been missing out by looking at certain systems and just deciding not to go to them because they don't look like they have anything. Uh, so let's check this one out because it is the next one on the list, kind of. And see, this, this shows that it's only a B in the entire system. Uh, but I think that's kind of the direction that I want to go. Let's see, let's let's line it up. Lined up that way. Uh I don't know. I think that's out of the way. But there's really nothing else. Huh. It looks like this area is a little bit bigger than I thought it was. And it's not as densely packed until we get further down into here. And even then it's not really all that densely packed, it just looks like it is. So I think I'm just going to hit a couple more of these these big stars, and then we're going to finally move on to the core. I do want to check this one out, though. What do, what do we have here? Just a B. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to hit one more system in here, guys. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of scouting around real quick, and then 
we'll get to it. But I, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time with you guys here on the galaxy map when I could be, you know, finding awesome stuff. But I'm going to target this one. Oh, wait a minute. What are you, sir? Let's see what you are. Are you a protostar? You sure are. There's another Herbig. All right. This is, uh, this is the next destination, then. It's going to take a bit to get to it, ladies and gentlemen. But... That is the next destination, and from there, what I'm going to do is, I guess, you know, I'll I'll check the next ones around it for anything interesting. And if I don't find anything interesting, it is go time, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to head toward the core. So, uh, once again, as usual, if anything cool happens, I will see you then. If not, I'll see you at that Herbig. Oh, and we have uh, Commander Flame. All right, cool. Well, uh, I'm going to have a chat with Commander Flame on my way to this next uh, destination. I'll, I'll see you guys then. Okay, guys, listen. We're still six jumps away, but I found something that looks absolutely weird, and we're going to go check it out. And if, it is is it, <laughs> if it's as cool as it looks on this gal or the system map, this is going to be an awesome screenshot. But let's listen to it for a second. Uh, sorry, I'm going to be quiet because we're going to be listening. But I've, I don't think I've ever heard a planet like this. Just listen to it for a bit. that noise now I have kind of a speculation of what it could be it could be an ammonia planet because I've never actually listened to one that long but it's got rings which means that it's got like it looks like rocky rings and ice rings but that planet is just weird looking and then it's got a whole bunch of gas giants which I'm not sure I'm going to pick well I don't know they're all relatively close except for that one but let's go ahead and swing on over to this one. And instead of cutting to fly over there, uh, first of all, I had kind of a fuel scare because I was too busy chatting with Commander Flame to actually pay attention to the fact that almost every star on this route was a T-star. So I couldn't scoop from it. And then when I got down to like 10% fuel, I started to panic a little bit. But luckily, two jumps away was an M star, and I just sat there and talked with, with Flame for a while while I uh, went all the way up to full, so that doesn't happen again. Uh, but I also kind of, you know, you, you start to forget after a while because I only have A's and B's and, and uh, you know, uh, carbon stars and S types and non sequence stars and, and white dwarves selected on the galaxy map. But when you check all the like the kgb foam th oh my god it looks cool from back here when you check the kgb foam stuff in there uh you just it, you're reminded of how dense or you know how densely packed this galaxy is it is an ammonia world so i was right about that but let's get real close because i want to take a screenshot man this thing is cool uh but i just you know i wanted to thank commander flame for for like reaching out and talking because a lot of I've had some of you people like well you people uh, I've had some of you guys add me as friends in the game but then you never say anything and I never hear from you and I never kind of, and, and I never see you again like I, there's a couple of you uh, but he he said he had a question I want to get real close to this ice it looks like clouds it doesn't it looks like one big ass sheet of ice man I'm afraid but let's let's just stay real slow and see if we can get down there. But I, I really want to get a screenshot of this planet, man, because it's cool looking. Uh, but he, so we were talking for a little bit. And like I said, I want to thank Commander Flame for giving me someone to talk to while I'm doing this stuff. Uh, but it's really hard to see like what's going on here. I think I probably could have gotten a little closer. Alright, so I think that's actually decent 
you know, it looks like I'm in a res or something here. Uh, but so I, I was talking with him and he was talking about how he uh, he was there was another YouTuber that just started the game that he has been talking to. And uh, and how, you know, the guy, you know, bought himself a holler and he set a goal of like a thousand light years that he wanted to go explore. And we were talking about how that that's cool. And like, I remember when I first started how I did remember I started in Baker's Prospect for those of you that have been watching me for a while. I started at Baker's Prospect, which I guess is where you start if you choose the Horizons startup area. Okay, so these are actually fully rendered. Man, I don't want to run into anything. Slow down, buddy. Look at this thing, though. Uh, but yeah, so <laughs> I did like, if you remember from from that area, I went over to somewhere where I thought I was going to find a better res, and it was like seven jumps away. And if you remember, I was talking about how I was I was flying across the galaxy, and it was awesome, and I was so excited about having like a seven jump journey and now look at me i'm you know what let's see how far away we are to be honest uh, i'm curious let's just see how far away we are i think it was a k no it was an f and now we're twelve thousand light years away from home uh so it just seems so insignificant the seven jumps i made a long time ago but uh, you know what? We're wasting screenshot time. But look at that that errant asteroid up there. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Now, I know because I'm not in Super Cruise. Oh, never mind. It was just some uh, space particles. But we're, we're wasting screenshot time here. So let's, uh, let's, let's do that real quick. All right. So, um, but yeah, it, I just think it was really cool that he found someone else who was like just started the game and, and is really excited about it. Cause I remember how excited I was when I first started and I was absolutely overwhelmed by all the stuff that you could do, you know, and obviously having played it for a while, I've done a lot of that stuff and I know that some of the stuff just isn't for me like mining and, and things. It looks like there's lights on the planet, whatever. Uh, but there's still like just a ridiculous amount of stuff that, I feel like I haven't experienced or done. And that that little guy down there looks like he's floating upward at me. And I'm not too happy about that. So you stay down there, big ass chunk of ice. And you over there, I can see you creeping in on the right side too. You just stay over there. Uh but he was like he was saying that he was helping the guy out and you know, helped him get some ships and stuff. And I think that's really awesome. So give it up for Commander Flame, guys. He's he's a pretty cool guy. We talked for a while. I had something like 17 jumps or something I had to do. And he kept me company through at least 10 of them because we've got six to go. I, and, uh, you know, it, it just it gives you something to do to talk to somebody while you're on these long, long journeys, especially when I'm like when I've cut. And I'm not putting that in. I'm just getting from point A to point B to, to get to another spot where it's going to be interesting for you guys. It's really cool to have somebody to talk to. So that being said, if you add me in the game, don't be afraid to send me a message. Even if I'm recording, because uh, I let him know that I was recording, but that he, you know, that it was okay. Uh, even if I'm recording, if if I don't respond to you, that means I'm, I'm probably in some shit. Like I'm... I'm afraid for my life at the moment in the game or you know i found something really awesome and i'm I'm on a roll talking about it but don't ever be afraid to send me a message if i'm in game if you want to want to chat or something and uh at some point maybe we'll even work out some voice comms or something if you want to be in a video i don't know especially when i get back to the bubble and, we, and i start trying to organize some things to do uh the more of you guys that add me and the more of you guys that are around to play when i want to do things like that the better these videos are going to be but I am all out of time. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to do the rest of this journey to this Herbig. Or at least one jump away from it so we can... You know what? Screw it. Screw it. For you guys, I'm going to make the rest of the journey. So because I'm running low on time, I'm going to cut this part short. But I've got my screenshot here. It's awesome. This planet is crazy. It's an ammonia world. So it's going to be worth a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to get to that next Herbig because, because I'm curious 
to see if it's the same kind as the other one. Because remember, they can be A or Bs. Or any main sequence star, I think it said. And I'm curious if it's spinning. Because I don't know why, but I have a weird obsession with spinning stars now. So, let's get to it, guys. I'll see you there. One more jump, ladies and gentlemen. And then we will confirm whether or not the Herbigs all spin. Or at least, the I mean, two out of two is not necessarily a confirmation. But considering the first one that I saw spin was, I believe, an O blue-white supergiant. And since then, I haven't seen another one that spins like that. So finding two of the same that spin is good enough for me at this point. But we're jumping into the Herbig AEBE right now. So let's see what's going on in this system. Don't let me down, Herbig. I wish I had like a Herbig plushie. Yeah, look at it. It's spinning even faster. Awesome. Awesome. All right, let's see if this one has been discovered. Wonder why these take so damn long to open. Excellent. Undiscovered. And. Uh oh. Let's listen to this for a little bit. I see land masses under those, those uh, clouds. Do you hear that? Do you hear that, guys? Those are birds chirping. I think we found it. I think we have found Earth 2.0. Look at all these T-stars just in a line. All right, guys. I may sound a little bit too enthusiastic right now. Here we go. Here we go. Let's check it out. Finally, I think. I think I, I'm pretty sure that I heard birds chirping. So let's get on over there and see. It's the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, scanner. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Show me the money. There it is. An Earth-like. Our first Earth-like, everybody. Earth 2.0 right here. Let's slide up on that guy and get a screenshot. Just look at it, guys. It's Earth 2.0 right here. My first Earth-like. It is undiscovered. That makes it even better. I just want to slap a giant RC right down smack dab in the middle. It's awesome. I can't believe I finally found one. This system is great because the Herbig AEBE is, is is one of my favorites now because it looks so damn cool. It's This one was spinning, I think, faster than the other one, which makes it, you know, that many magnet or that many times better than the other one. I, it's stupid. It's arbitrary, but it's cooler than the other one, especially with the fact that it is home to my first Earth-like. So we can scratch that right off the list. Hopefully I'll find a whole bunch more, but this being my first, uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm excited. I don't know. It's a game and I'm sure that thousands of other people have found earth likes, but this one's mine. In any case, guys, if you like that video, or, you know what? You know what? I'm not even going to do that right now. Commander flame is my good luck charm. Commander flame. If you're watching, thanks bro. You're my good luck charm. You helped me find an Earth-like planet. Thank you, sir. All right. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more videos of Elite Dangerous or any of the other videos that I've done, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you have anything to say, throw it down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Remember, my name is Commander Restless Corpse. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Eject. 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 Eject.